Description This lesson looks at the use of pseudocode when writing algorithms. Learning Outcomes After completing this lesson, students will be able to State what pseudocode is. State the six basic operations of a computer. Develop simple pseudocode algorithms to solve simple problems. Pseudocode should not include keywords in any specific computer languages. It should be written as a list of consecutive phrases. You should not use flowcharting symbols, but you can draw arrows to show looping processes. Indentation can be used to show the logic in pseudocode as well. How do I write pseudocode? First, you may want to make a list of the main tasks that must be accomplished on a piece of paper. Then, focus on each of these tasks. Generally, you should try to break each main task down into very small tasks that can be explained with a short phrase. When designing a pseudocode algorithm, you must keep in mind that a computer can perform six basic operations. 1. A computer can receive information a. Read information from a file b. Get information from the keyboard 2. A computer can put out information a. Write information to a file b. Display information to the screen c. Print information to a printer. 3. A computer can perform arithmetic. You can use either actual mathematical symbols or the words for those symbols. A. Add number to total. B. Total equals total plus number. 4. A computer can assign a value to a variable or memory location. There are three cases where you may write pseudocode to assign a value to a variable or memory location. Initialize slash set to give data an initial value. Equal to assign a value as a result of some processing. Save slash store to keep a variable for later use. A computer can compare two variables and select one of two alternate actions. To represent this operation in pseudocode, special keywords are used. If, then, and else. The comparison of the data is established in the if clause. The choice of alternative is determined by the then or else options. Only one of these alternatives will be performed. Six. A computer can repeat a group of actions. When there is a sequence of processing steps that need to be repeated, special keywords for or while are used. Pseudocode is best understood by looking at examples. Example number one, computing sales price. Pseudocode the task of computing the final price of an item after figuring in GCT. Note the three types of instructions, input, get, process slash calculate, equal, and output, display. 1. Get price of item. 2. Get GCT rate. 3. GCT amount equal price of item times GCT rate. 4. Final price equal price of item plus GCT amount. 5. Display final price. 6. Halt. Note that the operations are numbered and each operation is unambiguous and effectively computable. Example number two, computing weekly wages. Gross pay depends on the pay rate and the number of hours worked per week. However, if you work more than 40 hours, you get paid time and a half for all hours worked over 40. Pseudocode the task of computing gross pay given pay rate and hours worked. 1. Get hours worked. 2. Get pay rate. 3. If hours worked 
lesser than or equal to 40, then 3.1 gross pay equal pay rate times hours worked. Number four, else 4.1 gross pay equal pay rate times 40 plus 1.5 times pay rate times hours worked minus 40. Five, display gross pay. Six, halt. Note the if, then, else operation. On the basis of the true slash false question asked in line three, we execute line 3.1 if the answer is true. Otherwise, if the answer is false, we execute the lines subordinate to line 4, line 4.1. In both cases, we resume the pseudocode at line 5. Example number 3. Computing a quiz average. Pseudocode a routine to calculate your quiz average. 1. Get number of quizzes. 2. Sum equal 0. 3. Count equal 0. 4. While count lesser than number of quizzes. 4.1. Get quiz grade. 4.2. Sum equal sum plus quiz grade. 4.3. Count equal count plus 1. 5. Average equal sum slash number of quizzes. 6. Display average. 7. Halt. Note the while operation. As long as the condition in line 4 is true, we execute the subordinate operations 4.1 to 4.3. When the condition becomes false, we resume the pseudocode at line 5. Let's review. Pseudocode consists of short English phrases used to explain specific tasks within a program's algorithm. Two, when designing a pseudocode algorithm, you must keep in mind that a computer can perform six basic operations. A computer can receive information. A computer can put out information. A computer can perform arithmetic. You can use either actual mathematical symbols or the words for those symbols. A computer can assign a value to a variable or memory location. A computer can compare two variables and select one of two alternate actions. A computer can repeat a group of actions. 3. Pseudocode should not include keywords in any specific computer languages. 4. Pseudocode should be written as a list of consecutive instructions or phrases. Indentation can be used to show the logic in pseudocode.